The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of any entities that they represent. This program is intended for educational purposes. You're listening to Rap Sun Rahe Hain. You're listening in Suno Tha. Singla Kya Kanada? You Kelta Hai Dira. Hai Kada. Re Katha Sun Radio. 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 Azim Premji University. The biggest tribute I think to his cultural presence is probably the number of fake verses that do the rounds. I'm sure most of you have at some point received a WhatsApp forward that said, you know, today is Galib's uh, 200th birthday, whatever. Let's remember him with these lines. Uh, and I get these every so often. And somebody will say, "Well, are these by Galib?" Right? And I, I I don't have sort of the caps capital font big enough, you know, on WhatsApp to say no. this is not because they are so bad you hota to kya hota the world of galib with amit pasole episode 6 galib's legacy पिछले हफ्ते वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ गालिब वॉज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ डिफिकल्ट पोइट मुश्किल पसंद इज वॉट ही वॉज कॉल्ड डिफिकल्टी लविंग दिस टाइम आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट हाउ डिस्पाइट हिज रेप्यूटेशन फॉर बींग अ डिफिकल्ट पोइट अ डिफिकल्टी लविंग पोइट ही हैज लेफ्ट एन अमेजिंग लेगेसी दैट इज क्वाइट अनपैरल इन टर्म्स दैट नो अदर उर्दू पोइट आई थिंक कैन क्लेम टू हैव सच अ मल्टी डिमेंशनल लेगेसी वी गोन टॉक अबाउट म्यूजिक वी गोन टॉक अबाउट मूवीज एंड टी वी we are even going to talk about the indian parliament and we are going to talk about scholars all over the world studying his poetry and other poets paying tribute and respect to him in their poetry all of this is galib's legacy which offers a very nice contrast to his other reputation as a difficult poet let us start with uh, galib's uh, musical legacy galib's poems ghazals have been sung by a huge number of really influential and important singers all the way through history going back to suraiya in the 1950s movie mirza ghalib in which bharat bhushan a famous actor of the day played ghalib incidentally i don't think you can think of too many other urdu poets which have had a movie made after him so again it gives you a sense of how immensely popular and long lasting his cultural legacy has been so ghalib's ghazals have been sung by suraiya they've of course been sung by very famous ghazal singers like mehdi hasan jab us zulf ki gulam ali asad ne ikbal banu all the way down to jagjit singh which many of you may remember sang for the tv show mirza ghalib in which nasiruddin shah had played ghalib ki shokhi e tehreer ka incidentally we often use the phrase i like listening to ghazals and you might think oh, Jag- jagjit singh sings ghazals for example a ghazal as we have seen earlier is actually a type of a poem it's not a type of a song or a way of singing so you can sing a ghazal in any way and a few episodes ago we played for you some of galib's ghazals which were sung as qawalis and there's nothing that stops you from singing his ghazal in any way at all so for example dile nadan tujhe hua kya hai a famous ghazal is there in the bharat bhushan movie as a very standard old fashioned ghazal but it has also been sung more recently in a much more modern take by ayushman khurana in a recent movie dile दिले नादान तुझे हुआ क्या है 
आखिर इस दर्द की दवा क्या है हम हैं मुश्ताक और वो बेजार या इलाही ये माजरा क्या है मैं भी मुंह में जबान रखता हूं काश पूछो कि मुद्दा क्या है जबकि तुझ बिन नहीं कोई मौजूद फिर ये हंगामा है खुदा क्या है सब्जा गुल कहां से आए हैं अब्र क्या चीज है हवा क्या है हमको उनसे वफा की है उम्मीद जो नहीं जानते वफा क्या है हाँ भला कर तेरा भला होगा और दरवेश की सदा क्या है जान तुम पे निसार करता हूं मैं नहीं जानता दुआ क्या है मैंने माना कि कुछ नहीं गालिब मुफ्त हाथ आए तो बुरा क्या है नाउ सो मेनी थिंग्स हैपन इन दिस इट्स सो अ वेरी सिंपल लव काइंड ऑफ इमोशन दिले नादान तुझे हुआ क्या ही स्पीकिंग टू द हार्ट सेइंग व्हाट हैज हैपन टू यू देयर इज नो रेमेडी फॉर दिस आई जस्ट डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू अबाउट माय स्टेट हम हैं मुश्ताक और वो बेजार या इलाही ये माजरा दिस इज समथिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ अस हैव फेल्ट आई एम सो इंटरेस्टेड इन मेकिंग समथिंग हैपन एंड शी कुडंट केयर लेस और ही कुडंट केयर लेस ओह गॉड व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ सिचुएशन एम आई इन सो दिस ऑल स्टैंडर्ड लव थिंग्स देन ही स्विचेस जबकि तुझ बिन नहीं कोई मौजूद फिर ये हंगामा है खुदा क्या है नाउ इज सडनली ऑन टू बेसिकली यूनिटी ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस वेदतुल वजूद द बेसिक बिग आइडिया दैट देर इज ओनली वन थिंग इन द वर्ल्ड राइट सब्जा और गुल कहाँ से आए हैं अब्र क्या चीज़ है हवा क्या है वॉट आर दिस फ्लावर्स एंड दिस वेजिटेबल्स एंड क्लाउड्स एंड विंड अब्र इज क्लाउड सो यू नो वॉट आर ऑल दीज थिंग्स इफ देर इज ओनली वन थिंग दैट एग्जिस्ट सो ही इज गॉन ऑन टू अ वेरी काइंड ऑफ सूफी थीम देयर हमको उनसे वफा की है उम्मीद जो नहीं जानते वफा क्या है वेरी सिंपल काइंड ऑफ सेंस अगेन ऑफ कमिंग बैक टू दैट फेथलेस लवर आइडिया दिस वर्स पॉप्ट अप इन अ वेरी अनलाइकली प्लेस ऑफ यू इयर्स अगो द इंडियन पार्लियामेंट वेन द देन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मनमोहन सिंह हैड ओकेजन टू डिसाइड इट एंड इफ यू लिसन केयरफुली यू विल ऑल्सो सी द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मिसरा उठाना गोइंग ऑन वेयर द अदर एम पीज आर ज्वाइनिंग इन एंड कंप्लीटिंग द वर्स वेन यू डिसाइड्स इट वो है उनसे वफा की उम्मीद जो जानते नहीं वफा क्या एंड देन आफ्टर ही इज डन देयर इज अ रिस्पांस इन पोएट्री फ्रॉम द लीडर ऑफ द ओपोजिशन सुषमा स्वराज व्हिच इज नॉट अ गालिब कपलेट बट अनदर उर्दू कपलेट कुछ तो मजबूरियां रही होंगी यूं ही कोई बेवफा नहीं होता कमिंग अप On the other side of the break. Mr. Ghalib, करने की वजह से उर्दू में मेरी तालीम शुरू हुई सही मानो. Have you read Galib? But to get the entire world to agree on this one thing in the time that it was when zero actually was shaped up, I I cannot get my head around the fact that everyone just agreed. it took centuries to have this transition unlike place value system where there were at least four different civilizations that sort of said hey this is one way it was just us wow it was just us who said hey let there be nothing also <laughs> in the scheme of things before you get to something many things let's start with nothing that's amazing it's a math 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 world with divakar coming soon only on radio azim premji university of course younger listeners would be aware of the the serial by gulzar with nasiruddin shah as galib and for many people i think he has become sort of synonymous with galib in a way and nasiruddin shah has spoken very movingly about his relationship to urdu and to galib if you can check out his videos and interviews uh, he learned urdu very late in life incidentally he comes from a family where it was mostly english so he learned urdu and then he kind of discovered his relationship to galib in a way kitne azim शख्स और कितने अजीम शायर थे और मिर्जा गालिब करने की वजह से उर्दू में मेरी तालीम शुरू हुई सही मानों में रात को आग और दिन में धूप भाड़ में जाए ऐसे ले लो नहार आपका बंदा और फिर नंगा मेरी तनख्वाह कीजिए माह बमाता न हो जिंदगी दुशवार इस तरह की भी शायरी की और मेरे दिमाग की नसें खुल गई कि 
غالب صاحب نے جو لکھا یہ تو ٹی ایس ایلیٹ اور سیمیول بیکٹ سے سو سال پہلے لکھ کر گئے اور اتنی ہی گہرائی ہے بلکہ اس سے بھی زیادہ اور اتنی خوبصورت زبان کا استعمال کیا گیا ہے اور جو جو کمپلیکسٹی ہے ان کی تھنکنگ میں میں دنگ رہ گیا اس سے آشنا ہو کر انسینٹلی سم آف یو مے بی ونڈرنگ یو نو نصیر الدین شاہ ہی واز ریفرنگ ٹو دیز ادر بگ پوائٹس ٹی ایس ایل ایٹ اینڈ سیمیول بیکٹ ہی مینشنڈ واٹ ایف دے ٹو ڈو ود غالب ویل دیر آر مینی تھیمس دیٹ وی ایسوسیٹ ود اپسرڈسٹ اور ایکسٹینشلسٹ پوائٹس اینڈ رائٹرس فرام دا ٹوینٹی ایتھ سینچری ان یو نو آل اوور یوروپ اینڈ امیرکا اینڈ سو آن یو ول فائنڈ دوز تھیمس اینڈ غالب اینڈ لیٹ می گیو یو این ایگزامپل ہے آدمی بجائے خود ایک محشر خیال ہے آدمی بجائے خود ایک محشر خیال ہم انجمن سمجھتے ہیں خلوت ہی کیوں نہ ہو ہیومن بینگ اے مین اے وومن اے ہیومن بینگ انسٹیڈ آف بینگ دم سیلس آر ایکچولی جسٹ اے کموشن اور ٹملٹ آف تھاٹس محشر خیال محشر از دا ٹملٹ آف ڈومس ڈے ہم انجمن سمجھتے ہیں وی تھنک آف اٹ ایز اے میری گیدرنگ خلوت ہی کیوں نہ ہو ایون اف اٹ بی لون لینس اینڈ سالیٹیوڈ آور تھاٹس کیپ اس کمپنی ان آور مومنٹس آف سالیٹیوڈ اینڈ تن ہائی دیٹس ون وے آف تھنکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ بٹ دیر از آلسو اے ڈیپر وے آف تھنکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ دیٹ اٹ از آور تھاٹس دا انجمن دیٹ وی آر بلڈنگ اپ ود دس ٹومل دس کموشن آف تھاٹس دیٹ از الاؤنگ اس ٹو اسکیپ آور ایسینشیل لون لینس اور ٹو فرگیٹ اباؤٹ دا فیکٹ دیٹ ایٹ دا باٹم وی آر انہیرنٹلی الون When I first read this couplet, the phrase that really jumped out at me was mehshar e khayal. It captured so nicely sometimes the kind of commotion that goes on in my own head. All the different thoughts and all the different to-dos and things to say to somebody. Next time you meet, oh, I want to say this to that person next time I see them. Or, oh, I got to bookmark this thing because I'll come back and read it. Of course, I never will. And all of these kinds of commotions that go on. And if I sometimes almost think, well, am I doing this just to paper over some other stuff that I don't want to think about? That's really what made this verse uh, speak to me. Well, okay, that, that was quite a lot of heavy stuff. But, you know, here's another fun place where Ghalib popped up recently. Doordarshan, of course, you know, we kind of expect, okay, I made a serial on Ghalib and so on. What about Netflix? What about uh, 19th century England? Some of you may have seen the Netflix show Bridgerton and there was a small, almost blink and you'll miss it reference to Ghalib there too. Have you read Ghalib? Never. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and that perhaps makes you sit up and notice, well, interesting that the writer thought that he should include Ghalib of all the people from the 19th century that, uh, you know, he could have thought of. Why did he do that? There are so many other people that populate the 19th century, famous emperors or whatever, fighters and warriors and soldiers and so on. And yet you have this guy coming up here. Again, shows you his enduring cultural legacy. Well, finally, we come to Ghalib's poetic legacy, of course, which is uh, enormous and difficult to do justice to in the kind of time that we have here. But I'll just point you to a few interesting tidbits, maybe. I think it's fair to say that uh, every poet that came after Ghalib in this tradition had to contend with what he had done with the language and with the ideas and what an enormous influence uh, he had cast. Iqbal, who is the greatest Urdu poet after Ghalib, you can see is directly responding in many ways to Ghalib. And so are later poets who perhaps are not necessarily carrying forward Ghalib's themes but they feel the urge, the necessity to tip their hat to him, to pay their respects to him in different ways. Here's an example of that last bit. Fez, uh, who many of you will know, wrote uh, lyrical revolutionary poetry in the middle of the 20th century, refers to Ghalib through, by quoting him in his poems. So here's one of Fez's well-known poems where Ghalib pops up. So Fez says, تم نہ آئے تھے تو ہر چیز وہی تھی کہ جو ہے آسماں حد نظر راہ گزر راہ گزر شیشائے میں شیشائے میں اور اب شیشائے میں راہ گزر رنگ فلک 
रंग है दिल का मेरे खूने जिगर होने तक a very different poem in mood from what we might have heard in ghalib fez is talking to his beloved incidentally and he is talking about how until they had come what was his mood like what was his reality like the sky as far as he could see the road stretching out in front of him and the glass of wine in front of him and now that the beloved has come aur ab shisha hai main raah guzar rang e falak rang hai dil ka mere khoon e jigar hone tak This is the last line that I want to talk about. This bit about rang hai dil ka mere khoon e jigar hone tak is a direct reference to one of Ghalib's famous couplets. Aashiqui sabr talab aur tamanna betab. Aashiqui sabr talab aur tamanna betab. Dil ka kya rang karun khoon e jigar hone tak. Meaning that love demands patience and desire is impatient. Aashiqui is sabr talab, tamanna is betab. there's this always this tussle going on that to be in love is to be patient and to wait for the beloved but desires can't wait and galib is asking the question dil ka kya rang karun khoon e jigar hone tak meaning until the liver is killed off khoon e jigar hone tak dil ka kya rang karun that's what galib is asking meaning what should i do with my heart what mood what color should it be in until my coat liver is murdered or which is really the end of the ashik this is sort of the fate of the ashik for the liver to turn into blood so until my liver turns into blood what should i do with my heart that is galib's point our poem and fez has as you can see almost quoted it in a way right rang hai dil ka mere khoon e jigar hone tak that this is the mood of my heart until i wait for my liver to turn into blood So this kind of hat tipping you'll see in many different ways. Here's another example of a hat tip, a more famous one perhaps. Ghalib has a couplet. Dil dhoondta hai phir wahi fursat ke raat din. Baithe rahein tasavvure jana kiye hue. The heart searches for longs for those fursat ke raat din, those days and nights when there's a lot of time at hand and one can just sit and think of the beloved reflect upon the beloved baithe rahe tasavvure jana ki hue this has been used very beautifully by gulzar in the famous song dil dhoondta hai and at the beginning of that song some of you may have heard gulzar himself talk about his connection to ghalib misra ghalib ka hai aur kaifiyat har ek ki apni apni dil dhoondta hai phir wahi fursat ke raat din What Gulzar is saying here is the line the misra which is one line of the poem is by Ghalib and kafiyat har ek ki apni apni that mood that is invoked by that poem is to each his own and i see this poem by gulzar the song that gulzar has written as gulzar's kafiyat when gulzar the poet looks at this poem by ghalib what does he think about he thinks about thandi safed chadrein chhat pe bichhi hui hain और हम लेटे हुए हैं तारे देख रहे हैं वी आर लाइंग ऑन द रूफ इट समर नाइस कूल शीट्स आर स्प्रेड आउट एंड वी आर लाइंग गालिब इज नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ठंडी सफेद चादर एनी वेयर बट दिस इज वॉट गुलजार थिंग्स अबाउट वेन ही सीज गालिब्स वर्स एंड दैट इज कैफियत दैट इज द मूड ऑफ द वर्स गालिब के काम के बारे में शायद सबसे बढ़िया चीज अगर किसी ने कही हो द so sort of the best thing that i've seen is by this uh, critic uh, abdur rahman bijnori who once remarked that uh, south asia had been graced by two texts of revelation two revelatory texts the vedas and diwan e ghalib of course in some ways a hyperbole but it communicates the richness of human experience the revelatory nature of ghalib's poetry and why the diwan the volume of galib's poems could attain such a stature in some ways it is also like the stature that hafiz has among the iranians uh, if you had any iranian friends or if you have one you should ask them about uh, this little copy of diwan e hafiz that almost everybody seems to carry around and the idea is that you open it at random to any page and uh, it will speak to you it will 
tell you something about what you're feeling at the moment. Uh, Ghalib's Diwan has that same kind of feeling to it. So in these Diwans, Ghalib's Diwan, Hafiz's Diwan, whatever be your mood with which you approach it, happiness, sadness, anger, you'll probably find something to match it, to reflect on it. He is probably the most commented poet in the Urdu language, by, by which I mean that there are hundreds of commentaries in Urdu, in Persian, in Hindi, written on his work. And an excellent place for us to go and dive into all that, if you're interested, is the website of the professor of Urdu, uh, Francis Pritchett in Columbia University, who has a, a website called Desert Full of Roses, which I've mentioned before on this series. And she has collected commentary from different people on each verse. And Ghalib has thousands of verses. So you can imagine the kind of gargantuan task that she has undertaken very lovingly. And you can go and check out her website for this. There are also books that continue to be written almost every year. Some or the other volume comes out on Ghalib in, in some or the other language. I'll just give you a couple of recent ones and then you know you can Google a few more. The most recent addition to this is a book by Meher Afshan Faruqi, who is uh, the daughter of a very famous Urdu literary critic, Shamsur Rahman Faruqi. Uh, who incidentally is the teacher of Francis Pritchett. Meher Faruqi has a book called Ghalib, A Wilderness at My Doorstep. And this is a kind of a literary biography, meaning she has traced the evolution of Ghalib, the writer, through his various periods of his life, when he was writing different kinds of poetry. Then we have uh, Professor Gopi Chand Narang, who is again a very famous Urdu literary critic, who has a book out, which is in Urdu, has been translated recently, called Ghalib, Innovative Meanings and the Ingenious Mind, which also I recommend as a very deep dive into Ghalib's poetry. So whether you're looking in print, whether you're looking online, whether you're looking long form, whether you're looking for shorter lectures, there's a whole wealth of material. People continue to study Ghalib very intensely. Let me also mention one last resource here, which is by Ahmad Javed, who is a, a scholar, uh, a philosopher based in Lahore who has a range of uh, videos on YouTube, lectures essentially, on different aspects of poetry. And again, he has many interesting lectures on Ghalib that you can check out also. That was episode six, Ghalib's Legacy. Make sure you check out the show notes where we share the show resources and acknowledgements. And don't forget to subscribe or follow our channel for future episodes. You're listening. Radio. 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 Radio.